Work resumed this morning at the border where Governor Doug Ducey is using shipping containers to plug gaps in the wall. Shelly Jackson is live near the border with details. Shelly. Well, Sean, Governor Doug Ducey's office did confirm that they started working on parts of the border in Cochise County, putting those, those shipping containers in. And we hear from sources, we're actually in Huachuca City, that they're staging the containers out of this area. There's been a lot of traffic in and out, but so far, no shipping containers have left since we've been here. We're told that they're assembling them here, welding them together, and then driving them to the border. Now, we have some video of the work that they were doing today. These photos were given to me by the governor's office. Five crews are installing 300 containers to fill a 10.25 mile gap in the border wall. This project cost $95 million. Just last week, the U.S. Border, uh, border Bureau excuse me, of Reclamation ordered Doug Ducey to take down the shipping containers he used at the border wall in Yuma, saying it violated federal law and is considered trespassing. The governor put those containers in last August. Last Friday, the governor filed a lawsuit against the Biden administration, claiming the state should have jurisdiction over that area. It's an area called the Roosevelt Reservation. Now, back out here live, the governor's spokesman told me that the governor is keeping a promise he made last January in a state of the state address when he promised to put up physical barrier barriers along the border. Live from Machuca City, Shelly Jackson, News 4, Tucson.